Welcome back to Automation Empire. My name is Arctic Wolf and this is episode one. So, let's get started. If you missed our uh, little intro, uh, episode zero, uh, that'll tell you what settings we're using and what map we're using and all that good stuff. If you missed that, go ahead and check it out. There'll be an I card in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now. It'll pop out. You can click on it and you can go back to the last video and watch it. So, uh, let's take a survey look at the map. Uh, since I've never played on this map before, I don't know what any of this stuff is. It appears that we have, um, remember WASD is move around and then you can hold the shift and the WASD keys or bump against the edge with your mouse to move. Um, I'm going to assume you guys have already played this game before or you're actually playing along right now with me that's just because that's what I do when I'm playing these games by myself not recording it I usually have somebody who's playing the game on the YouTubes in the background on another monitor um, so we've got our oil over here See, and that's the great thing about this game is you can start with any of these basic resources that you want to uh, we got coal iron gold on that glacial sheet floating right there it looks like this big sheet right here has everything except a mountain we need a mountain so that we can make the tunnel for our truck so we'll expand out here but not right away let's skip across this way This is oil. Okay. Okay. So I'm seeing this place right here. And I'm thinking like <coughs> truck comes out, comes down this way a bit, turns, gets loaded up, and it goes back up in there. And we have stuff all the way around here to do that. And then eventually we can expand out into other places. But I think that'll be a good starting spot. So I'm going to get into this. Uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to have little spots like this. Little survey situations. Where I explain what I'm going to do. Then there'll be a time lapse with some music where I do that. And then we'll analyze whether or not it's working right at the end of the time lapse. I think that'll be a good kind of format to go with all this. So here we go. There's a new thing in the game that I've never played with. I have to try that out. <laughs>
Okay. Um, now we wait. We may end up putting another crate maker on this side with another thing on this side and another drop off station here. Depends on how fast they fill these up. We've got trucks coming in. They just go out and around the loop and then come to the stop. I think we're going to miss that truck. Yep. So I think double the truck stops. We can actually probably add two of these things there. Yeah. Add another truck stop here with another crate maker over here and then we two more drone bays. So we have 12 drones. Okay. I'm going to let the money build up so we can afford to do that because I think <laughs> that is going to cost us all we can spend right now. Oh, we're gaining money every time a truck leaves. That's good. There we go. I got that turned off for drone priority right now, so. But I believe this part costs 15000 so we can't afford that by a long shot yet. <laughs>
Okay, so it's been approximately 20 minutes since the start of the time lapse. And then there was a little bit there after the time lapse. And then we cut to here. Um, what's going on? We got our power, three drone bays. One, two, three. 12 drones as you can see right here drone population 12 out of 12 I've got four truck stops on this little loop that goes in and out um, three miners hooked up to a circular minecart track that dumps it off in this bin and then I got two crate makers setting it out to 12 spots with our 12 drones on the 24 spots for the trucks with this setup, I don't miss a truck in the beginning here. Um, I'm sending it out as fast as it's coming in, and I'm full research. And the research bay won't take any if it has eight. So every th it's going this way, and it goes past the last miner, and then the first stop is the research bay. So if the research bay needs anything, it'll get filled up. If it's full already, like it is on this pass coming through, the minecart won't stop, and it'll just keep going. But at most, that thing will take two cars of the three, and there'll still be at least one car that gets dropped off down here for the drones. So this is a pretty good setup to start with. I would recommend using a setup like this if you can squeeze it in somewhere. It's fairly compact, pretty efficient as far as electricity. You're not using any more than you need. You're not making a whole bunch. You only use the one. Um, you can see your capacity is only 13 out of the 40 that gives you, so it's plenty. And as far as, like, you got your research going, you got a good stream of income coming in. By the time you research your first tech, which will be the oven and unlock the actual building, you'll have enough money in the bank to be able to buy that stuff so that's the plan we're gonna leave it here for today I'm gonna let this run in the background while I'm doing other stuff and when we come back next episode we'll have enough research to unlock the ovens and get those started so that's gonna be it for today I hope you all like this one. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the other ones, but I think that the 15 to 20 minute range is probably good for the length of the episodes. Um, let me know down in the comments. Would you prefer longer episodes, shorter episodes? I can do either one. I'm pretty open to that. Uh, on my Let's Plays, usually I try to shoot for about 20 minutes. So that's what we're going to aim for. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm really, really, really close to 100. And I would love to get there. You guys are awesome. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. We'll catch you next time. Arctic Wolf out.